Brood X contains billions, maybe trillions, of cicadas, and they are emerging after 17 years underground. They will shake up parts of the eastern United States during a raucous few weeks as full-fledged adults. Then, just as suddenly, they will die. Here's a look at the short but eventful adult life of a brood X cicada. Number 1. Waiting in a tunnel. Weeks ago, an inch-long cicada nymph finished excavating the tunnel it will take to the surface. Since 2004, it has been growing and molting, drinking a fluid called xylem from plant and tree roots through a straw-like beak. Number 2. Dramatic entrance. When the soil about a foot below ground warms to 64 degrees, probably on an evening that is humid but calm, it will crawl out. Half the brood will emerge within a couple of weeks. Number 3. One last shed. Once out, the nymph will climb something vertical. The nearest tree, flower, wall, or pipe will do and molt for the last time. Number 4. Adulthood at last. After wriggling out of its brown shell, it is now over an inch long and almost completely white, with the bright red eyes that identify it as a periodical cicada. It is extremely soft and vulnerable, a tasty snack for birds, dogs, and other creatures. Number 5. Adjusting to a new body. In a few hours, its body will turn bluish black and orange, like other members of Magicicata septendecim, the largest of three brood X species. In several days, it will be able to fly and call. Once cicadas can fly, the lives of males and females are quite different. Step 7. Time to join a chorus. Only males can call. Using vibrating membranes called timbles on either side of their hollow abdomens, they call for different reasons. If you pick one up, you may hear an alarm squawk. But the main reason for calling is to attract females. Around dusk each evening, our cicada will add its call to a chorus of other males hoping to find mates. Each species' chorus has a distinctive sound. Number 10. Egg Laying Within an hour after mating, the female will find a tender tree branch and slice it open with her sword-like ovipositor. She will insert up to 30 eggs, then make more slits, until she has deposited a total of 400 to 600 eggs. Number 11. Then it's over. The cicada and its mate will die after two to four weeks above ground. Their nitrogen-rich bodies make excellent but stinky fertilizer. Some people will be afraid of cicadas, but hey, cicadas don't bite, cicadas don't sting, cicadas don't fly away with small dogs and children like the monkeys in the Wizard of Oz. Sometimes they will try to get in your mouth. Sometimes they might try to walk up your face. Sometimes it may be difficult to speak when you have cicadas hanging on your front lip. I don't recommend you let them go up your nose, but usually they'll just walk around the nose as they're visiting your face. And uh, frankly, cicadas are, are just kind of interesting creatures that I think most people really don't have to be afraid of. Remember, Cicadas only come every 17 years, so the next time you will see them is 2038. These bugs are significant and rare. They are also very clumsy and a go to shop for any predator. Thank you for watching and keep wondering.